Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. ABC vented the Golden Wedding live last night, where observers witnessed Jerry Turner, 72, marry his final rose winner Theresa Nist, 70. The two-hour event was nothing short of important, between the possibility of host Jess Palmer's woman. Going into labor and bachelor nations, Braiding Bower's surprise offer to Christina Mandrell. Still, some suckers had preliminarily suspected that the first ever Golden Bachelor would be blazoned during the night, as the derivation has formally started its casting process. Numerous study, Jerry's runner, Up Leslie Fema, would be blazoned as the coming lead especially as she participated a videotape before this week, wearing a gold top, to inform suckers she'd be attending the espousal. Despite a hyped-up bouquet toss at the end of the night, where some study directors had a strategic plan, the golden baccalaureate was no way revealed. And while Leslie was canvassed on the gold carpet by former baccalaureate Charity Lawson and fellow competitor Kathy Swartz, no citation of being the coming lid was ever brought up. Taking to Reddit, suckers showed how disappointed they were. I really allowed. They were going to advertise Leslie as the golden baccalaureate last night. When will we get news on that? How long will we have to stay? So disappointing, one person wrote. A alternate added, I was so worried. I was hoping for a Leslie moment. Suckers have been lodging for the fitness educator, especially after witnessing her gut-wrenching bifurcation with Jerry during the homestretch in Costa Rica. After being rushed to the sanitarium for exigency surgery last week, Leslie took a selfie videotape a many days latterly to inform Suckers that she had a nippy recovery. While wearing a gold metallic top, she thanked followers for their support, and said she was surely on the mend. I am feeling so much better that now I get to go to the marriage. And I cannot stay to support Jerry and Theresa in their beautiful day. And I know it's gonna be really, really amazing, the finalist revealed. Suckers believed Leslie was subtly intimating that she'd be blazoned as the first ever golden bachelor at the marriage. Heaving their propositions in an online thread, one person said there was no way Leslie would go to the marriage unless she was gearing up to be the golden baccalaureate. This has to be contractual, she's being paid or hoping to becoming bachelor, they wrote. A alternate also guessed that there were directors behind the camera, emails, as she's recording this. She out then running to that golden marriage so that she can be the coming golden bachelor-like, a third said. Oh, so they'll have her catch the bouquet and also advertise her as Golden Bachelor, a fourth theorized. Or it can be a competition for whoever catches the bouquet gets the title lol. A fifth added, noting that numerous of Jerry's other rivals will be present for the event. So she's surely the Golden Bachelor, while another theorized, this is giving me Bachelor vibes. Generally, the people who we are ditched get over and are probative once they are chosen as the lead. A six said. Others believed Leslie's gold top was a clear index that she was going to be the bachelor. Reveals that she's going to the marriage while wearing a gold top. Hum, bone, said. Alternate wrote, she really wore bachelor black golden interpretation. Adding to the proposition that former bachelorettes were blazoned while wearing a black dress. Suckers can stay tuned for a possible Golden Baccalaureate advertisement in the coming weeks as new bachelor Joey Grazia D begins his hunt for love on January 22. Leslie Fema was happy to support Jerry Turner and Theresa Nist at the Golden Wedding, but one part of the forum brought up a many bad recollections. It was a little uncomfortable during the forum when they were talking about Costa Rica, because I was there too. Leslie, 65, revealed on this Saturday, January 6, occasion of the nearly notorious podcast, 
which was released two days after ABC's The Golden Wedding Special. Making it to Jerry's final two women on The Golden Bachelor, Leslie was eventually transferred home during the November 2023 homestretch after meeting Jerry's family in Costa Rica. Luckily, Leslie said the Braces' discussion of the show's Costa Rica homestretch during their espousal went in one observance and out the other. It was presumably the only time it was really uncomfortable for me, she explained. And seeing Theresa so happy really, kind of, just took that down anyhow. During the espousal, efficient and coaster Susan Knowles substantiated the late dates, noting how Jerry and Theresa strengthened their relationship in Costa Rica. Jerry also recalled drinking Costa Rican coffee with Theresa during his promises. Leslie's Golden Bachelor elimination shocked both observers and Leslie herself. During the shows after the final rose special, she called out Jerry, 72, for blindsiding her with his decision. You made it sound like you chose me she stated during their on-screen reunion. You led me down a path, and also you took a turn and left me there. She latterly claimed during a December 2023 occasion of the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast that Jerry made pledges to her about their future during their Costa Rica fantasy sweet date. He said kind of, like, save the date. This is what we are going to do. I can't stay for us. In two further days, we'll be done with this and be together, start our life. She participated. Jerry eventually ended the season engaged to Theresa. Leslie left numerous Bachelor Nation suckers scratching their heads upon revealing she'd attend the couple's televised espousal. Theresa invited me, she clarified on Saturday's podcast. I had to reuse my heart deck and it took a while. But after that, I realized that, you know what, they are presumably perfect for each other, and I am so happy that she set up love, because that's what we came for. The Golden Wedding also served as a chance for Leslie to reunite with her fellow Golden Bachelor rivals. There were further than 50 members of Bachelor Nation at the form. It's been amazing. I really miss them. I mean, we communicate all the time, on a diurnal base, but it's not the same as actually being around them, she told houseguests Ben Higgins and Ashley Akinetti. And I always say, like when I was doing the show, I missed my musketeers at home immensely. And my family, of course, but these women, we've a bond that no bone differently could understand. Costa Rica mention away, Leslie was all grins at the star speckled form, especially when hit the cotillion bottom with Higgins, 34, at the event. According to Higgins, that moment wasn't as robotic as it may have appeared on screen. When the event started, they asked us to start the cotillion party, he revealed on the podcast. That was commodity they wanted us to do, and we both agreed to do it. And so we get out there and they're like, okay, get people on the cotillion bottom. We are like, great. We start doing it, and there's no music. Leslie, for her part, joked. I came out there on the cotillion bottom, and he goes, thank you. And I am like, is this a warm-up? Is he rehearsing his moves, or are we doing this now? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.